Hi, we are at third part of the chapter, partial fraction. We have learned about the linear factor and repeated linear factor. The last one we're going to learn is quadratic factor that cannot be factorized. So if it can be factorized, we will go back to linear factor. So where the case cannot be factorized is something like this. x squared plus 7x plus 3. So if you cannot factorize them, so when it's x squared at the bottom, the top one, you put bx plus c. Let's look at one example. When you have this question, you can see that actually x squared plus 3 cannot be factorized. It's either you get imaginary root or some decimal places. So what we're going to do right here, we will write a over x plus 1 plus bx plus c. And then we write x squared plus 3. It's actually the same, so it's better in this way. Then we will have 4x is equals to a, and then x squared plus 3 plus bracket bx plus c times with x plus 1. So this is the case where I already skipped the part where I equate the denominator. Next, we're going to do, we're going to find the root. Let x to be negative 1. We will have 4, negative 1 equals to a, negative 1 squared, big bracket, plus 3. So we have negative 4 is equals to 4a. A is negative 1. Next, we will let x to be 0. So we will have 4 times 0. So why I choose 0? Because we can let x to be any value and we are running out of root here. And then our a is negative 1. 0 plus 3 plus because x is 0, so b is going to be 0, I left is c, and then x is 0 plus 1. I'm referring to this equation here. So we will have c is equal to 3. Next value, I'm going to let x equals to 1. So we will have 4, 1 equals to a, negative 1, and then 1 square is 1, plus 3, plus bx, which is b, plus c, 3, and then 1 plus 1. So we will get 4 is equals to negative 4 plus 2b plus 3, and I solve this, I will get 4 plus 4 equals to 2b plus 3. I will get b plus 3 is equals to 4. b is equals to 1. So now I have value for a, b, and c. So you cannot leave your answer like this. You have to write them as a final answer. I will write 4x over x plus 1 and 3 plus x squared is equal to negative 1 over x plus 1 plus x plus 3 over x squared plus 3. So I will leave example B, C, and D for your own practice, and these are the answers for your reference.